and welcome from the Journey Museum and Learning Center. My name is Christine and today I'm going to show you a fun project you can do from home showing you the sizes of our planets to scale. So come join me. All you'll need would be some clay or play-doh. So here's an example of some air dry clay that I use to make these planets here. But I'm going to show you how to do it using play-doh and notice that I have about six tubs of play-doh here. You will need at least that much, if not more. If you don't have play-doh on hand, there are lots of recipes online to make your own play-doh. So I've arranged these planets here from size, from largest to smallest. Can you guess which ones are which? Well, by the end of this video, you will know the answer to that very question. All right, on to the making of our planets. As you can see here, I've removed all the Play-Doh from these tubs and my blue and yellow have made a beautiful new green color. What might be fun for you at home is to have a plain colored Play-Doh and at the very end maybe you can use food dye or jello or kool-aid packets to make the actual colors of the planets themselves. So as you can see, I have a large clump of Play-Doh here. The nice thing is, is you don't have to worry about measuring it to make sure you have a certain amount. Because what we're going to be doing today is dividing it into 10 equal parts and using that to create our planets. So I'm going to start and show you this way to create these 10 equal balls and hopefully a way that is easier for you. So what I do is I start with my one and I divide it in half. And I look at it, do my halves look about equal? This one looks a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna steal some from there. And now they look to be about equal size. Now, if I'm making 10 equal balls, but I have separated this in half, I now have five that I'm going to make with this clump of clay and five with this one. But dividing this into five pieces is still kind of hard. So here's my recommendation. What I would do is I would take this and divide this in half again. So now I have two parts. If I divide this in half again, and the other part in half, I now have four pieces. I'm trying to get to five. Well, now I can just steal a little bit from this one, steal a little bit from here, and if I steal from all four and clump that together, I'm getting close to having five equal parts. But when I'm looking at mine, it looks like I might need to steal a little bit more from these bigger ones over here. And if I make them into balls here, I should see if they look to be about equal. I'm pretty close. So now I have five of my 10 balls. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one here. So one more time, Remember, you take this piece, divide it in half, and divide those halves into halves. So now we have fourths, and when I steal from the fourths and clump it together, I should get my fifths. So now you have your five balls here, and they don't have to be perfect balls. I just have five clumps here, and they're about equal. So now I have 10 total. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by making the largest planet. The largest planet is Jupiter. And what we will need to make Jupiter is we are going to take six of these and squash them together to make Jupiter. So here's three, here's three for a total of six. And now I've just made Jupiter, the largest planet. These four remaining balls over here is what I'll use to make the rest of our planets. Jupiter is the largest by far, isn't it?
The next largest planet is Saturn. Now Saturn takes a couple of steps to make. So the first step is I'm going to take these three balls and squash them together, but I'm not done yet. So I'm not going to bother making it perfect just yet. Then I'm going to take this remaining ball and split it into 10 equal balls one more time using the method I just showed you. So as you can see, for my last step, I have Jupiter, Saturn that's not quite done, but I did complete making my 10 equal clumps of clay here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit more to Saturn. So I'm going to take five of these and add them to Saturn. But I'm still not done with Saturn yet. But I'm going to move on to my next planet. So now I'm going to take two of these, roll them together, and I'm going to now make Neptune. So there's Neptune right there, very small. And the same size as Neptune is Uranus. So again, I'm going to take two balls, smash them together to make Uranus. Ice giant, right? So I now have one remaining ball left after making Uranus and Neptune. And I'm going to take this ball and separate it into 10 equal balls one more time. I've taken my last ball and divided it into 10 equal balls. I'm going to take all but one. So I'm taking nine of them. Squishing the nine together and adding them onto Saturn. Saturn will now be complete. With this remaining ball, we do a different step here. We take this and divide it in half. Half of this ball is the size of the planet that we live on, Earth. Earth is so much smaller than these other planets, isn't it? Now with this remaining ball, I'm going to divide that more. Now here's where it's going to get tricky to divide your clay into half. So I have a piece of advice, a tip for you. I rolled my clay out into a long snake and now I'm going to use a toothpick to then divide that in half. And just like before, I could divide it into fourths, but by now I'm getting used to what it looks like to divide into fifths. So I'm just going to continue dividing. Into fists like this. Very small pieces. Now I have 10 pieces total and I'm going to take nine of those 10 pieces and smush them together to create Venus. So I've just taken the remaining ball, rolled it out. Now, just like with Venus, in order to make Mars, I'm going to clump nine of the pieces together. But this time it's getting so small, I'm going to say that nine is almost everything except for a tiny bit. So this big long snake here will become my Mars. As you can see, it definitely does help to get a lot more clay. Then you won't have such a small piece to work with because this microscopic little piece here, just the tiniest little bit of it, this tiny bit right there, Pluto, so tiny, and Mercury is just a tiny bit bigger. So now let's see what it looks like all together. Now let's view all our planets in order. Here's Mercury, you can see it just above the letter C there. Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and even though Pluto's a dwarf planet, we included it, you can see it right before the letter P right there. So there you have it. At home, you can make your own planets. 
and see how fun it is to make different sizes of them.